All right, students. Tip number one: using soap or sanitizer. Tip number two: Hey, boy. Hey, my friend. Long time no see. Hey, stop that. Keep it away. Tip number three. Please use mask or otherwise if you see that kind of symptoms to the hospital. Those are three tips you can take to make yourself safe from coronavirus threat. Alright students, uh, we are continuing with our video session uh, during this uh, period of disturbances uh, because of existence of coronavirus threat. Now uh, everything should continue as usual and here is the video session to make sure that a learning process for you is continuing as usual with no problem when it comes to mathematics. Uh, here in the white body uh, there is a title area of regular polygon inscribed in our circle so this is a continuation of what we did the previous day that we did perimeter and is of a regular polygon inscribed in a circle and today we want to finish with calculation of area of the same shape inscribed in the same shape which is circle so yeah, what I'm going to do again is to derive formula for you that will be to make that will be easier for you to take that formula and compute some kind of examples, some kind of questions. So you don't need to all again. I'm going to derive a formula for you. What I'm asking you is to be calm, follow me closely so that you understand one step after another, so that you can even derive yourself with no problem. So area of regular polygon uh, inscribed in a circle, in order to have this formula, uh, first of all, uh, audience, please assume that you have a regular polygon. So assume a regular polygon whose Number of sides is n and inscribed in a circle of radius r. So let's start with this kind of assumption that you have a regular polygon whose number of sides is n. And this regular polygon is inscribed in a circle whose radius is r. So, in order to understand this kind of assumption, let us try to draw a picture of what we assume here. So, sketch. So, this is a circle. The center is here. Suppose a regular polygon is drawn so this is a part it is a part of regular polygon. Here I'm having uh, only three sides but I'm not going to show uh, how many sides because I am not sure how many sides are there. I have assumed the number of sides to be n, so it is practically impossible to draw n sides. So I'm, I'm going to use these three sides as part of those n sides assumed. And suppose this point is A, and this point is B. This is the center, call it O. Uh, a length OA. Represent radius 
and OB again will present radius. <coughs> With this diagram, there is a, a triangle AOB. This triangle AOB is of our interest to enable us to derive the formula that we want. So suppose <coughs> this triangle, uh, the area of this triangle is A1. Let's say that the area of this triangle is A1. What is good in this diagram is that if you try to join a line from the center to any vertex of regular polygon, you find that the triangles will be exactly the same in terms of size. And, the, and also the size of the area also will be exactly the same. So the area of this triangle, shaded one, and these two, are exactly equal. That is very good behavior which will help us to derive the formula for finding the area of a regular polygon. So we can even assume that this is also going there. Suppose, so if you draw a radius there, you'll find that uh, these triangles, this one, this one, this one, and that one, are exactly of the same size. So in order to find the area of the shape, which is a regular polygon, uh, the simple thing to do is to find the area of one portion of the triangle. One portion of the triangle. And our chosen triangle this time is triangle A or B. So actually, I uh, would we'll say that total area Total area A will be given by N times A1. Students, uh, the total area of the regular polygon will be given by this basic formula that you take the number of sides of that regular polygon time the f time the area of any uh, triangle time the area of any triangle uh, obtained. So in this case, the triangle which we choose here is triangle A or B, whose area is assumed to be A1. So in order to get the desired formula, now what we do is to find the area of this uh, triangle A1. So in order to find the area of this triangle A, A, A1, uh, we need to know the value of the angle here. We need to know the value of the angle A O B. If we know the value of the angle A O B, we will apply the formula to find the area of triangle which did not depend on the height. I hope you remember that kind of formula because we covered that one in our session. So let's check how can we find the area A1 of triangle A O B. Again, we want to find the area A1 of triangle A or B. So let's see how we do. So for triangle a or B, uh, can we extract that triangle? Let us extract. Here is R, there R, here center O, there A, here now B. This angle is given by 360 degrees divided by N. Why 360 degrees divided by N? Uh, because this is a central angle and Lucky enough, I explained this 
uh, while we are deriving the formula to find the perimeter. So if you have a question, maybe you can go back to the previous session and you will find that this angle is 360 degrees divided by n. So from the formula, from the formula that area will be given by a uh, half times this length uh, OA times this length uh, OB times the sine times the sine of the angle included here which is uh, 60 degrees divided by N So if you check the value of LA is radius and the value of OB is radius. So if you plug the values, you'll find that area, so here is area A1. So area A1 is equal to a half uh, R times R times the sine of 360 degrees divided by N. This one, if you simplify, becomes a half times r square the sine of 360 degrees divided by n so this is a1 formula this is uh, a1 formula now things will be easy students check this one so now you have the value of the area a1 of the triangle AOB the value of area A1 of triangle AOB is now obtained. So what you do, you come back to the general formula here, that area is equal to N times A1. Simple that. What you do is you plug the value of A1 into this mother formula. What if you plug? So if you plug the formula of A1, uh, you get this kind of formula. Mark pens. Uh, so a change, change of marker pen, please. check a one value here times a one which is uh, a half r square sine of 360 degrees over n uh, finally you have l equals to a half n r square times the sine of 360 degrees divided by n so this is the formula for you students to find the area of any regular polygon inscribed in a circle of radius r so depending factors here are also two factors one factor is number of sides of the regular polygon being talked about and another factor is radius of the circle used used to inscribe a regular polygon being talked about so this is a formula and what you need to, to take is that you at least try to remember this formula uh, in order to make sure that you get well in terms of calculating questions when it comes to examination or exercise quiz asked by the teacher or any examiner. So thank you for your attention for that. Now let's continue with doing some couple of examples for you to make sure that you understand how now you can apply this formula all right thank you the calculation of area of regular polygon inscribed in a circle here you have an example that find the area of regular decagon inscribed in a circle of radius 
two centimeter. So as long as you have the formula, you know the formula, things become easier in terms of calculation. Uh, first of all, you have to collect your information, data. Uh, here, uh, the regular polygon given is uh, decagon. The regular polygon is decagon. How many sides do decagon have? All of you say 10. <laughs> yeah. So n is equal to 10. Uh, number of sides for regular polygon is 10. I hope you know this. And you are given the radius of the circle to be uh, 2 cm. So actually, uh, with these information, uh, you have to introduce the formula. That from the formula, that area equals to a half any other square, the sine of at least 60 degrees over n, this will be equals to what? So with your information, n equals to 10 and r equals to 2 centimeter, take these values, plug into the formula and simplify. So at the end of the day, you will get your value of area. Now, uh, this is a half times n given to me 10 and r is 2 and this should be squared there. So 2 square times the sine of 360 degrees divided by n and n is given to be 10. So divide by 10. This one if you simplify it will be 5 times 2 square is 4 uh, times the sine of uh, 36 degrees. This will be 20 times the sine of 36 degrees. Here now is where you take your mathematical table and plug the value there. I can read my value here uh, from mathematical table. The value is 0 0.58 uh, uh, seven nine. So with this number you multiply and you compute to be 11.758. Plug in your unit should be uh, centimeter squares. So area is given uh, is found to be 11.758 centimeter squares. That will be the value of the area of regular decagon uh, inscribed in a circle of radius 2 cm at the question demand. Thank you. Wait for the second exam. Wow, I think the lesson is going well for you, audience students. Uh, this is example number two concerning the calculation of areas of regular polygon which is inscribed in a circle uh, of a certain radius. Now, this question is given uh, in terms of perimeter and uh, you are told to find the area. Let us try to read this question. It said the perimeter of a three sided regular polygon is 30 times the square root of 3 centimeter. You are told to find the area of this figure, uh, but you have to leave your answer in sad form. So, as usual, you have to break down or write your data again. So, you have been given perimeter. Here, you are given perimeter to be 30 times the square root of 3 centimeter and this kind of shape is having uh, three sides so the value of any number of sides any is given to be three but the radius r of the circle is not given the radius of the circle is not given so it is unknown unknown and also, you are told to find area A of the regular polygon, so it is also unknown. Okay, so if the intention is to find area, we can see that uh, area is given by a half n r square sine of 360 degrees divided by n. Using your data, uh, you find that the value of n is given the value of n is given to be 3 but radius is not given it is unknown 
Uh, so this makes it difficult to find area. So what we do is to force to find the radius to make things easy to find area. Uh, to make these depending factors complete, because any there, area is not there, so you have to find the radius. How can you find the radius to make sure that at the end of the day you find the area? So the radius is going to be found with the help of perimeter as information given. So it's, it's good for now to use perimeter so that we can find radius and later on we'll take that radius together with N, plug into the formula and find the area. Let's do that students. So now it's saying that perimeter is given to be 2NR, the sine of 180 degrees divided by N. So perimeter is given to be 30 times the square root of 3 equals to 2 times N is 3 times R is not known times the sine of 180 degrees divided by 3. So you have 3 square to a 3 times 6R times uh, 180 degrees divided by 3 you get 60 degrees uh, what you need to do students here is that you have to consider 60 degrees as a special angle and plug here the value of sine 60 degrees which uh, represent the value of special angle uh, don't use the value from mathematical table which is given in terms of decimals. So what you do, you plug the value. As I said, so it will be square root of 3 equals to 6R times the sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Uh, this one will be 30 times square root of 3. Uh, these two divide, simplify with 6, you'll have 3R times square root of 3. Making subject R, you get 10 centimeter. So what you do here, you divide by 3, divide by square root of 3. Uh, at the end of the day, you, if you do that both sides, you get R uh, to be 10 centimeter. So now, we have found the obstacle now. The obstacle was radius. So we take this value of radius together with the value of any plug into the formula to find the area of regular polygon inscribed in a circle so what that is the next to come so now area equals to a half n r square the sine of 360 degrees divided by n this is supposed to be a half times n which is 3 times r r 10 but square sine of 360 degrees divided by 3 you'll have a half times 300 times the sine of 120 degrees here another obstacle students the sine of 120 degrees 120 degrees cannot be seen in your mathematical table so what to do you have to reduce this 120 degrees to within the range of acute angle using uh, the concept of trigonometric ratios in a unit circle i think you can use that uh, summary we use all students take chemistry to make sure that you reduce it correctly so if you use that one you'll have a half times 300 times this one sine is uh, 120 degrees is found in the second quadrant of xy plane so sine there is positive uh, times the sine of 120 degrees in the second quadrant is reduced by from 180 so it is 180 minus 120 and you'll have a half times 300 degrees and the sine of 60 degrees uh, if we simplify it, it will be 150 times again this one is the same value as this one can you check here so it is the square root of 3 over 2 
and if you divide 2 and this one by simplifying you get 75 times the square root of 3 centimeter square and this is your area now this is area given in third form when I say third form I mean that the, the value is written in terms of radicals uh, so what you needed to do is to note you the value of sine 60 degrees from your mathematical table because the value is left as decimal here what we do we need to do is to leave the answer in terms of radicals so there is a need to use trigonometric ratios of a special angle for sine 60 degrees which is a uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 and at the end of the day this answer is what is needed is by demand of the question that area should be left in terms of sad form uh, thank you enjoy your day enjoy your uh, private time and everything